In most part of the world, biogas is regarded as just another source of power, which always come after hydroelectric power. But in Kibera, the residents decided to make it an exemption. Kibera used to be known as a place where flank oil was a source of waste disposal. But thanks to the innovative mind of the resident, who thought it would be wise to build a bow center which will help the residents with toilets, bathroom, and also power. I will benefit a lot as it, from my perspective. Mm -hmm. First, cleanliness. Mm -hmm. The other thing, it's you don't have to wash the toilet as in the other toilets. You are being told you have your day to wash the toilets, or and it, it will bring about a lot of money. So here, it's just you pay. Come here, go to the also act as a source of income to the seller, the cleaner, supervisor and the manager of the bow center. Wale wamependa wanaweza lipa tu kwa mwezi. Naona tu hiyo ni cheap. Na inaweza kuja mara hata tatu kwa siku kwa siku. Na wale watamlipa ni kikuja shilingi mbili, kikuja shilingi mbili hiyo si ni more. It's not expensive. And it's yeah, it is most of the waste used in this process is mainly from human waste disposal. Yeah, well, there's, there are some advantages and there are also some disadvantages. Some, the other day I wasn't here, I was in school. Yeah. When I came back, yeah. I heard that the toilets were full, yeah. they were closed, and now people did, didn't have anywhere to go because the toilets that we used to go to were already closed and they were also full. So I think that's one of the disadvantages. Mm. And the other one is people tend to use newspapers instead of tissues. Mm. And mm. they tend to block the toilet. Mm. And this can bring about, the toilet can be blocked. And so they, it, it, it leads to the toilet being closed. Because mm. you can't go to the toilet when it is blocked. Reporting for KNN, I'm George Waviru.